I am so glad that I'm supporting a candidate who is not very controversial, who has been consistent throughout the entirety of his career. Because imagine like supporting someone like Joe Biden, where you are constantly trying to find a way to explain something he said that's offensive or try to find a way to, you know, interpret what he said more charitably. It's just a headache. So Bernie Sanders has been consistent, which is why, you know, when you see some of the attacks on him, they come off as unhinged and quite frankly, idiotic. Because if you don't have a good reason to attack someone, then you're going to kind of look like a hack if you attack them for something that really should be applauded in politics. So these are the types of attacks that we see lobbed against our candidate, Bernie Sanders. And boy, are they downright just fucking dumb. What do you make of the Bernie Sanders observation by Doug Thornell? Has, has Warren basically eclipsed Sanders in your world of sort of progressive, um, fundamental economic change politics? Yeah, absolutely. The problem with Bernie Sanders is that he has the exact same message he had four years ago. And that message didn't get him to victory four years ago. Not sure why he's not trying to calibrate that, particularly in this field. And one of the arguments his supporters make and the campaign is making, too, is that everybody is, quote, stealing his message, as though maybe Bernie invented liberalism. But point aside, <laughs> Bernie deserves a lot of credit for mainstreaming a yes. lot of those ideas. But he has done nothing to build his own base of support. And why stick with Bernie, who's as divisive as he is, when there are more appealing, uh, inclusive candidates uh, in the field? And there's a mm -hmm. bunch to choose from. That was beautiful. T to be able to twist yourself in a way that gets you to frame consistency as a negative. I mean, that's bold. You know, you got to applaud Marcos here for being such a big hack that he's literally trying to argue against consistency. Wow. Now, we know why he doesn't like Bernie Sanders. I mean, I think that the picture here, it points it out. He is an establishment sycophant. He delivered thousands of flowers to Nancy Pelosi. Why? He loves power. He sucks up the power, and he's all about protecting the status quo while being portrayed in mainstream media as a representative of progressives. No, he's not a representative of progressives. He is the opposite. He is in favor of the establishment, which very much is not kind to progressives, which is very much about maintaining our corrupt capitalistic system where people are exploited and the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. So let's look at what he says here. He says, Warren has eclipsed Bernie Sanders. Now, you can make the case that, sure, she eclipsed him with regard to polling, but in terms of policy, in terms of progressive mom momentum, has she eclipsed Bernie Sanders? Um, no, not for me, at least. Because, first of all, my number one issue is Medicare for All. And Elizabeth Warren has gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She introduced a bill in April that is about re-regulating the private health insurance companies. In other words, she wants to do Obama 2.0, but she also supports Medicare for All. She co-sponsored Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill. So there's absolutely no coherency there. She doesn't have a vision for health care, which is one of the most important issues for voters. So to say that she has eclipsed Bernie Sanders, you certainly can't say that about health care. Now, what about foreign policy? Um, well... No, she hasn't eclipsed Bernie Sanders there as well, because anytime she talks about foreign policy, I like her less. So what we're seeing here is Marcos, who really, really wants Elizabeth Warren to have eclipsed Bernie Sanders, but that doesn't necessarily make it a reality. Now, again, if you're arguing based on polling, the last couple of polls, I believe, showed that she is starting to pass Bernie Sanders. And you can make that argument, but that's not the argument he's making. He's making an argument that she's better than him on the policy. And he even said that, quote, one of the arguments that Bernie supporters make and that the campaign is making is that everybody is, quote, stealing his message as though maybe Bernie invented liberalism. Bernie deserves a lot of credit for mainstreaming those ideas, but he has done nothing to build his own base of support. First of all, that's complete and utter horseshit. He has built his own base of support. Hence why when he relaunched his campaign earlier this year, 40% of his donors were new donors. Second of all, he demonstrated that he has the courage to talk about issues 
that were previously seen as taboo. Medicare for All was something that nobody wanted to talk about, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, because they knew that even if they didn't take money from health insurance companies or that much money from health insurance companies, they still would be attacked by them and their opponents would still be bankrolled by these companies. So everybody was a coward. They were too afraid to stand up for these issues until Bernie Sanders came along and popularized these ideas. That says something. The, the two debates that we saw both nights the entire conversation was driven by the agenda set by Bernie Sanders. By Bernie Sanders. But then he says, why stick with Bernie, who's as divisive as he is, when there are more appealing, inclusive candidates in the field? First of all, Bernie Sanders is inclusive. Second of all, um, why would we go with someone as opposed to Bernie? Because he's the real deal. He supports Medicare for All, and he has supported Medicare for All for his entire life. He's been consistently anti-war. He is talking about social democracy in a fundamental way, changing the system. The other candidates aren't talking about it that way. And for you to say he's divisive, he's only divisive because you're looking for reasons to be angry at him because you don't like him because he threatens the status quo that you like to worship. So what an idiotic attack. You know, imagine being outraged that a candidate it's too consistent to the extent where you feel the need to criticize them for said consistency. What a joke. It just shows how strong Bernie Sanders is as a candidate. If they have to attack, attack him for being too consistent, understand he is doing something right. So keep up, Bernie, because um, I definitely want to be, you know, the type of candidate if I ever run for Congress one day that gets attacked because I'm too consistent. I think it's better than the flip floppers on issues like Medicare for all, like Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.